Hello, you lovely people. Thank you for joining us. My name is Krista Dalby. I'm the Artistic Director of the Department of Illumination. And on behalf of myself, the Board of Directors, the artists and volunteers in our company, I am so pleased to welcome you to the 8th Annual Firelight Lantern Festival coming to you from Prince Edward County, Ontario. This beautiful part of the world is part of the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee and Huron-Wendat people and we're right across the Bay of Quinte from Tyendinaga Mohawk Territory. All of these lands are steeped in rich Indigenous history, traditions, and modern cultures that are proud and vibrant. We recognize and honour their deep connection to this place. So, as you can tell, the festival looks pretty different this year. Uh, normally, the month before the festival, we are running all over Prince Edward County, taking our mobile lantern workshops to schools and community spaces and town halls. This year, obviously, we weren't able to do that, and we really, really missed you. The good news is that we were able to give away 150 free lantern making kits so people could get creative at home making their own lanterns. And our friends at Books and Company donated the front window of their bookstore so that we could have a community lantern gallery. And it was really beautiful to see everybody's lanterns out on Main Street once again. We also held a scavenger hunt called the Great Lantern Hunt, hiding 20 star-shaped lanterns around Picton. From what I hear, people had lots of fun looking for them. And thanks to all the businesses who helped out and who donated prizes. Even though things are different this year, we have been as busy as ever behind the scenes trying to create something really special for you. And I can't wait to share with you what we've done. But first up, we have a special guest who would like to say a few words. Hi everybody, it's Steve Ferguson, the Mayor of Prince Edward County. It's different this year, and the Firelight Lantern Festival is going to be different too. As we go through these very troubling times, we do so together. We check in and we support each other. We act as a community because we are a community of locals and newcomers, of artists and craftspeople, of farmers and business people. Each one of us has a role to play in our community and has never been more important to do so than during this time of uncertainty. We are all very much in this together and together we can all be the light. Thank you, please be safe and be well. Thank you, Mayor Ferguson. Now, on with the show. First up is a project called Sing with Kashka, led by local musician Kat Burns. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Kat Burns, aka Kashka. I'm the producer and facilitator of this project that I'm about to share with you called There is a Light. I have never done a community engagement project 100% virtually. It's often in a room, intimate, in a community center with people kind of like getting close and cozy. So this was an absolute opposite of that. We met a couple times on Zoom. We introduced ourselves. We talked about what we wanted to contribute to the project, pitched out ideas and lyrics, themes, and it turned into this beautiful, beautiful tapestry of golden ideas. And I stitched them all together into a song. And then I recorded a demo, sent it to everyone to learn, and then, Everyone continued with doing the most, and many people recorded themselves at home for the very first time, got through challenges of learning how to do that and setting everything up, and they also recorded their own video at home. So this was a huge step for many people because this technology and this kind of way of working is not normal for a lot of people. After we had the semblance of a song, it was time to do the dancing. Many people wanted to express themselves in movement, which is such a beautiful thing to me, and as I am not a dancer, I'm always in awe of people moving their bodies to music, it makes my heart sing. Huge thank you to Arwen Carpenter for helping us with the choreography. She did a great demonstration and was able to teach it to Krista, who in turn taught it to the group. There was a beautiful view, huge full moon, and we could not have had a better night. There is a Light is a monster of a project. It was a huge video edit and quite a detailed music mix. I wanna say thank you so much to Heather Kirby for helping me with the music mix. She did a really good job of making all of the different sounds from all the different sources sound cohesive and together. Thank you, Heather, you did a great job. This project has been a wild success and I'm so excited to share it with you. It is only possible from all the wonderful participants that took the time and energy and love and dove into this project headfirst. It's been really meaningful and beautiful to bring people together, even virtually, through this time of isolation. And as the song says, we're here together, even when we're far apart. Let's hope that can carry us through. Without further ado, here is 
there is a life. Out of the darkness, a glimmer of light, a beacon of hope. It cuts through the night, and off in the distance, I can see where you are. We're all keeping our chin up while we're looking at stars. Lift up. A huge thank you to Kat Burns for leading the project and to everybody who participated in the making of There Is A Light. It was a very different type of project for us to include in the Lantern Festival and it turned out so beautifully. It was something that never would have come about if it wasn't for COVID. So even though things have been super challenging, we can still be grateful for the opportunity for discovering new ways of collaborating and working together. Next up is a performer that many of you know and love, and we are proud to present the one, the only, Jeremy Albino. Hey, Prince Edward County. Happy Lantern Fest. Here we are, 2020, together, apart. Uh, my name is Jeremy Albino, and I'm gonna sing you a couple songs. Um, I'm gonna start off with this one. This one's called Last Night. It's a song about going out dancing and 
having a good time and fall in love. Um, so here goes. Well, last night, you walked through the door like a dream I'd never seen before. In a way you light up the room I just want to be right next to you And when I saw that sweet look on your face You said, oh, you're going to be my man Well, last night Well, last night Well, last night Last night was a time well, last night you were mine you had me dreaming like a fool darling I'm gonna spend my life with you the way you're moving on the floor don't you know you had me wanting more and then I said with a scared look on your face now Oh, you're gonna be my girl Well, last night Well, last night Well, last night Last night Was a time Well, last night You were mine Always thought I'd be Running scared Knowing there beside of me I always thought I'd be a lonely man Until you said you have a dance with me last night Well, last night Well, last night Last night Was a time Well, last night You were mine Oh, you're gonna be my girl are you gonna be my girl? Oh, you're gonna be my girl. Are you gonna be my girl? Well, last night. Well, last night. Well, last night. Last night was the time. Well, last night. You were mine. Hey, there it is. That was last night. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks to Athol Rec Committee for uh, sponsoring this performance. Um, hope you guys are enjoying your Lantern Fest. Um, I'm going to play one more here for you. This next one's a song about being far from ones you love. And... and uh, Sometimes, sometimes you you know you're writing you're writing each other letters, sending each other sending each other emails, and uh, calling each other, and it's just not enough. And one day you decide maybe we'll just go move out to a cabin in the woods and and be together. So this is what it's about. This one's called the cabin. cabin in the woods The one you're always telling me about See you build it with your own hands and we'll live off the land Meet me at the cabin in the woods Would you meet me at the cabin on a mountain The one you're always Riding me a bow. See you build it on the edge of a mile long drive. We could be the first to see the sun come up. Meet me at the cabin on a mountain top. 
Cause it doesn't matter where we go We'll always find a way Down city street or country road Anywhere with you I go Anywhere with you I go It doesn't matter where we go Will you meet me at the cabin by the ocean The one you're always telling me about Where we could hear the birds sing and the water cry Go walking through the mist as it hits slow time Meet me at the cabin by the ocean side Oh, will you meet me at the cabin on an open plain The one you're always riding me about where we could watch the storms come in like a rolling wave Sit out on the porch and listen to the summer rain Meet me at the cabin on an open plane Cause it doesn't matter where we go we'll always Down city street or country road Anywhere with you I'll go Anywhere with you I'll go Oh, it doesn't matter where we go It's called the cabin. Um, th- thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks, thanks for being here. Happy Lantern Fest. Got my lantern. I had to hang it from a mic stand. And here we are. Thanks for listening. Uh, happy Firelight Lantern Fest, Prince Edward County. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. I'm Jeremy Albino. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Jeremy Albino's debut album, Hard Time, is available wherever you buy music, and I would highly recommend it because it is just fantastic. This is a great time to support the artists that you appreciate. Thanks to so many donors and sponsors, the Department of Illumination was able to offer the Firelight Lantern Festival this year completely for free. And if you would like to show some love for our company and what we do, it's really easy to make a donation. You can just hop over to our website D-E-P-T of illumination.org and you'll find a donate button right at the bottom of our homepage. With your support, we can continue liberally sprinkling our creative magic around Prince Edward County and beyond and create meaningful employment for our local arts community. All right then, on to the next item of our program, which I am ridiculously excited to share with you. If you've been to the Firelight Lantern Festival, you know we have presented some incredible musicians on stage over the years. Of course, we had to do things differently this year, so we commissioned local musician Annalise Norona to write a song for you. And then we made a music video also for you. So I'm very proud to present Constellations. This one's going out to you, Prince Edward County.
say hello to Orion and hello to the bears. Polaris in the night sky makes it easy to share. just a tremendous amount of fun. It also serves our community as an important annual tradition. As the days grow shorter and we move towards winter, the act of making a lantern symbolizes bringing the light into our hearts and our homes to sustain us through the dark months ahead. This year we need to conjure that light more than ever. We need to continue stoking those fires and sharing that warmth with each other. We need to continue reaching out to each other, supporting each other, and helping each other. We need to be the light for one another. Be the light. 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 Thank you to everyone who helped make the Lantern Festival happen this year. Happy Firelight Lantern Festival, everyone. And until we meet again, keep your fires burning bright, because the only way to fight the darkness is to make more light. <laughs>